So I just got off a plane. I've been flying all night. But today I'm going to pick up our baby girl, Abby. Uh, 10 week old standard poodle. Ugh, coming home. I gotta be there in about an hour. And I went grocery shopping because I didn't have anything in the house. I've been gone for two weeks. Um, I have some things set up and I'm excited to share this with you. Treats. So we have some really high value treats here. Some medium value treats dried salmon rabbit chicken beef liver and sweet potato that's obviously the fresh stuff and then we have the kibble that the breeder is feeding her now and the kibble that i'm going to be transitioning her to so that's what i have hopefully i can survive the next week without leaving going to the store with all the things that i got so should be fun see you in a bit so i just picked up the baby she looks like she's getting car sick. Hey, Abby. Drooling over the snuggle baby. That's her on the drive home now. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, we made it outside. She does not feel good. She has been throwing up on the car ride. She's full of drool. Poor baby. Yes, you're drooly. You're a drooly baby. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. And I'm noticing she's, she's um been like, I guess it's submissive peeing a lot. So before I get her inside the house, I just want to take her out here, give her the opportunity to calm down after the car ride. Hmm. My little girl. Calm down after the car ride and get outside and maybe use the bathroom. So coming along i'm sorry baby girl i'm sorry you feel sick so i'm gonna try to be as boring as possible so hopefully she will go to the bathroom go potty and we can go hang out inside so it's about five o'clock Little Abby girl is in her crate, having her tantrum. I think she hears me talking, so she stopped crying. But yeah, no accidents in the house so far. She used the bathroom quite a few times. I wanted to take her out one more time before we hang up upstairs, before I start getting ready for bed and tomorrow, and then one more time before bed. But she didn't go when I took her out. So I put her back in the crate for five minutes and we'll see if she's gonna go again. Let us find out. <laughs> I need to go back outside to try again. Let's go. Come on. Go on. Go on, baby. Let's go to your spot. It's about 8 p.m. now and your girl is knocked out. So I'm gonna go throw her in the crate. I have the crate set up on my bed. Hopefully she'll sleep through the night and um, yeah, I'll update you guys to see if she does that or if I have to get up a hundred million times. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what do you think, how many times she's gonna wake me up in the middle of the night to take her out. Good morning. This is day one. <laughs> So last night, uh, she did wake up a couple times. She woke up at 9. We went to bed around 8, uh, 8.30. She woke up at 9 for one last potty, and then she woke up again at 12, 12.30ish. And I kind of waited a little while. She woke up, made a couple peeps, and then I waited a few minutes. So I think I took her out at like 12.45 just to like practice having her hold her bladder. Yes. Yes, yes, snuggle bugger. Yes. And then we were up again at 4.30 to let her out. Every time I woke up, I took her out, she peed, 
and we went back to bed. No problems, no squeaks. First night of success. So that is the first day with a new baby. Hey, you wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? New baby starting to poodle. Just on a little walk today. She's doing really well. I haven't trained her how to walk on leash yet, so I'm just kinda making sure she doesn't pull. But I'm really being really lenient on our walk. As long as she's not pulling me and not like charging ahead, we're good to go. Hey, baby girl. Oh, there she goes. No. Come on. Come on, girl. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. That's a little one. So it's almost been a full day since I've had Abby. And a lot more of her personality is starting to come out. Yeah. 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 We have our vet appointment today to make sure everything is good and dandy and she's a healthy puppy. And we went on a little walk today. I took her to a little park that's really close by and she still had a little bit of motion sickness, a little uh, drooly baby when she was in the car. So uh, we might have to do some work on that, but so far so good. The only thing that she's been chewing on is this Kong and I put a yaki, um, what is this? Like yaki cheese bone thing in there. And that's really the only thing she's been chewing on. She's not really interested in any of the Benny bones or anything that I have. So, um, yeah, she plays with her toy when I play with her and she chews on her bone. And the schedule is pretty much potty, play, eat, relax and crate, potty, play, relax and crate, potty, <laughs> play. Yeah, that's the life of a new puppy. So that's the first 24 hours with this baby girl. Hi. <laughs> and I'll insert a clip of us playing with her little fox toy. Hi, it is day three with little Abby, and she is doing excellent. Um, we've been doing a lot of uh, crate games and just things to get her comfortable in the crate. She has had no accidents in the house yet. She's gone to the bathroom outside reliably every time. Last night, she slept six hours instead of the four and four. She slept six hours, and then I got an extra three hours because it's the weekend, so I got a solid nine hours of sleep last night. I'm so proud of you. And she's been like very, very good. Today I fell asleep with her outside of the crate and I woke up freaking out, but she was asleep right next to me on the ground. So uh, yeah, we have a couple adventures today and I'm gonna share you some of the, that goes with you. We're going to the park and we're gonna see what that's gonna be like. See you soon. She's already chewing on her little bone thing. Hey baby girl. You ready to go to the park? She's like, no, I don't even know what that is. Soon you will know, park means fun. <laughs> this is Cloud, my little adventure van. I'm taking the van today and it is not fully modified yet or fully preppy proof. So there's some still with them things, but what I'm gonna do is block off this area. Oh, I'm doing some work in here still, so don't judge me. Block off this area with a piece of wood and put something to slide there to block off the front. Just so that, you know, she can learn to be comfortable in here without chewing everything up. Actually, I might stick her bed under there temporarily and lap this up. That might be a good idea.
Okay, the place is puppy proofed. She can't access the stuff behind the, the, the wheels, the seats, I mean. I have this little area for her bed, and she can't get under there. And yeah, kind of janky, I know, but it's just time being while I'm still doing modifications. But I do want to get her used to being in here since we're going to van life at some point for an unknown amount of time. Abby did really well in the park. She met a few new people, a few new dogs. She followed me the whole time, and I think that outing was a success. You want it? Good. Yeah. Go get it. Oh, oh baby. And that concludes my first 72 hours with this baby girl. Hey, pretty lady. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now time for some football. And she's going to take a nap. See you next time.